I Guess I Will, which on the surface seems like a love song, but upon repeated listenings, it seems to have a very distinct spiritual surrender to it. Mm. Would you agree to that? Or would you agree with that or, or, or no? I totally agree with that. I Guess I Will, the uh, opening song on the album, is a very, very erotic and sexual song to me in its rhythm. Um, it's basically uh, my, my ode to the muse. It's basically a love song to what I love to do, which is to write songs. And uh, it's about the love affair I have with um, going back into the studio and creating again and, uh, and writing. So I really saw, I guess I will, as a, a song that was saying, I can't not be with you. I can not walk away from this. I guess I will always be doing this. I have a very, very deep love affair with you, and that was the love affair with the muse. That's where I guess I will came from. In everything you do, you close the song by saying, lay down, lay my soul down, lay my soul down there, down there. What are you referring to when, at the end of that song? It, it's, it, it almost leaves like a mm. specific question in the listener's mind. Uh, everything you do is a, is a basically a song about love. Um, mo a lot of the songs on this album are about love, and I'm proud of that. On everything you do, it's very much like a, um, a Zen song. It's very much f free thinking. It's not written in the sense of um, normal song structure. It's free thought and the, what causation is in life. That you do one thing, you'll get a reaction to it. And uh, love is a very positive thing in my life. So this is what this song is about. When the song finishes with the harmonies, um, lay my soul down there, I'm trying to create again with feel more than literal sense of surrender, of accepting that love is very, very powerful and something to be revered. So the way the song finished, and it felt very natural to me to do it with harmonies which are almost like Elizabethan folk harmonies, to say, I surrender. I lay my soul down on the bed of love. And that's really what that was supposed to create. It's basically influenced a great deal by the beautiful poetry of Pablo Neruda. Um, he writes some beautiful love poems, uh, great haunting testimonies to love. And um, that's where Mi Morena basically was born from. Martin, your song Try on the album, at first it seems like a song of encouragement, but when you get to the bridge, it shifts to a much more intimate tone lyrically when you say, just let your sad eyes melt into mine. Is that intentional or in, in terms of the tone going to more of an intimate love story or is that just metaphor? Um, Try is uh, basically a, a simple song about um, getting the strength to go on. In any situation in life when you feel like, uh, you know, I can't walk outside, I can't do this, I don't, I don't want to push on, I don't want to take the long walk up the hill. In the middle eight, it's basically, I'm writing the song through somebody who's trying to help somebody, who's a friend, um, a lover or whatever, who's trying to be there for them and saying, you know, you can lean on me. It's a song about taking that extra step forward when you don't think you can. The middle aid gets personal, and I think that there is metaphor there for that, but it's basically somebody else saying, trust me, I can, I'm there for you if you need me. Uh, but we've all had those moments when we have to dig deep. That's a song about digging deep and uh, opening the front door and walking out and facing the light again. So I hope it comes across as an optimistic song. No, it definitely comes across as an yeah. optimistic one. It, it just was one that... I, I saw I saw the the whole tone go from one of real encouragement from the perspective of a friend yeah. to almost in the middle eight where the lyrical perspective almost becomes much more intimate and I thought is this from the perspective of a lover yeah. or from someone who's a husband or a wife yeah. giving that encouragement and it seemed yeah. to shift the whole nature of the song if that was the basis of the relationship yes that's I, why I was asking. It's interesting because when I, when, I, when I write a middle eight, I always feel like it's a movement into another area. 
and and in, in fact, in trial, which is very perceptive of you, I feel like it's um, taking a step out of the cocoon of somebody else, um, uh, uh, having a different outlook on it from a friend's point of view, and saying, "Lean on me." You know, I understand what you're going through, and and trust me. And that's really when I say trust. You know, you can trust your heart. In fact, I, when I was writing the lyrics to the songs, I did, to, to try, I didn't really think that it might actually even be somebody that was saying, lean on me necessarily, as much as a voice in the mind, a voice from the, from, from the soul, uh, speaking to you yourself, you know. Um, in fact, I would prefer to think that the song was more of a, a reflection of the strength inside yourself talking to you, saying, lean on yourself, take, t risk, risk it, trust yourself. You can, you can take that, that step yourself. So probably what I, the way I was writing the middle eight was even more personal in that sense of saying, listen to your mind, listen to your heart. You probably are gonna be motivated to change your ways and lift yourself up and survive. So it's really written from, from your own voice, uh, trying to encourage you. And we all have those voices in our heads that are gonna tell us good things or bad things. This is trying to say, come on, lift up. Um, things are going to get better tomorrow.